Red Dawn comes to Earth in Green Lanterns issue 2. So this issue saw Atrocitus launch his attack on Earth. Uh, they want Earth as their, I guess, new home planet. They picked Earth mainly because of the amount of rage that it has. I guess with all the different people and cultures and everything mixing together and everything, you obviously create rage and everything. And it's up to Baz and Jessica to stop this. They seem to be the only ones around to stop this, although at the end of the issue, Baz hopes that he he isn't the only one to be able to stop this because that's something that they ran into during the Red Lanterns book when something similar happened to Earth. Guy Gardner was literally the only one who was doing anything about it. You know, he was the only hero who was trying to stop this pretty much global event from happening. And he, he succeeded and everything and now he's gone off to be a Green Lantern again. But yeah, this issue was really cool. It was about more about Jessica, this issue, and her sort of explaining everything to her sister and uh, just showing her how a ring works and everything. I thought that was really cool and it just shows you that she has a really good bond with her sister Sarah. Obviously that's going to play a big part in this series. Something's going to happen and maybe test her will a little bit. I'm not too sure. But I'm really excited. There's some really good imagery in this book as well like the, the green Aurora Borealis look light that Jessica I think makes or like it's just something that happens near their house or something. I imagine she would have like made it or like with her using her powers and everything it came into being um and yeah the art was really great in this as well it's definitely a green lantern book lots of like use of the group color green and everything and there's some really great stuff with the red lanterns at the start like the aliens look really cool and everything there's there's like an alien who's literally just like a mouth looks really cool we get to see more of those aliens and i have a feeling that we're gonna i'm gonna give this book a nine out of ten